Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about the dependent and independent events in probability. Last time, meron na rin tayong video with regards to the different terminologies na under ng probability at meron na rin tayong video under ng probability of simple events. At kung gusto mo siya mapanood, ilalagay ko sa ating description box yung mismo link ng bawat video na meron tayo. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, uh, in probability, meron tayong definition to. It is the mathematics of chances. Tapos, ang kailangan nyo rin tandaan na ang ating probability is from 0 to 1. At kung meron kang sagot na tinatulong sa probability, you can express your answer bilang percentage, decimal, and a fraction. So ngayon naman, ang magiging focus natin is all about the dependent events and independent events in probability. So let's try having the definition of dependent events. Pag sinabi natin dependent events, these are events in which one event affects the outcome of another. So again, dependent events are events in which one event affects the outcome of another. So ito pa lang, dependent events natin, siya yung event na maapektuhan niya yung uh, yung outcome ng isa, pang, ano, ano, ng isa pang event na meron tayo. So let's move on with the independent events. Independent events are two events which do not affect each other. So ngayon, para mas maintindihan natin what is meant by the dependent and independent events, I have your situation. So let's say for example, meron kang bag. A bag contains three red marbles and four blue marbles. Again, Sa loob ng bag, meron kang 3 red marbles at meron kang 4 blue marbles. Ilalagay sila ng dalawa doon and ang total nila ay 7. So ito ngayon yung pagkakaiba ng ating independent events at yung ating dependent events. Sabi dito, kapag independent events with replacement, ito yung kailangan tandaan. Independent events are those events with replacement. At kapag naman dependent events, sila naman yung walang replacement. So let's move on or let's continue our situation. Meron kang bag with 7 marbles, all in all, and ang laman nun is 3 red and 4 blue marbles. Ang tanong dito, what is the probability of drawing a red marble? Again, drawing a red marble. So meron kang bag, punin mo yung isang marble. Ano yung probability nun? Since ang ating uh, favorable outcome, Diba ang ating formula is ano, um, probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the number of all possible outcomes. In which, yung ating favorable outcome ay yung number of red marbles at yung ating all possible outcomes ay yung number, total number of marbles inside the bag which is 7. So pag tinanong tayo dito, uh, what is the probability of drawing a red marble? That is simply 3 over 7. Again, 3 over 7. Kasi meron tayong tatlong, uh, tatlong red marbles at pitong marbles sa loob ng bag. Okay? Uh, sir, how about drawing a blue marble? Ang nalagay dito with replacement. At ang sabi dito, independent events are two events which do not affect each other. Kung nakuha na natin yung probability or kapag nag-draw na tayo ng red marble, hindi niya maapektuhan si blue marble because that is under independent event or without replacement. So diba, um, I mean, sorry, with replacement. After mag nakuha yung mag-draw ng red marble, ibabalik mo siya ngayon. So kapag tinanong ko ngayon, what is the probability of blue marble? That is simply 4 over 7. Kasi hindi niya maapektuhan yung mismong event na meron tayong pangalawa. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan nyo, let's have the dependent events. Sabi nito, without replacement. Sa the probability of drawing red marble. Sir, what is the probability of getting a red marble? That is the same as 3 over 7. So, after natin makuha yung mismong red marble, tatanggalin na natin siya sa bilang. Sabi nito kasi, 
without replacement. Again, without replacement. Tatanggalin na, ngayon natin yung, bila, yung isang marble, di ba, kumuha tayo ng isa. Tatanggalin natin. Ang mangyari, ilan na lang yung marble sa loob ng bag? Ng, ng, sa loob ng, um, ng bag. So, 7 minus 1 is 6. So, kapag tinanong ko ngayon, what is the probability of getting a blue marble that is simply 4 over 6? So, bakit po nagbago? Ang reason nga kasi is wala tayong replacement. After natin mag-draw ng isang red marble, hindi natin siya binalik or pinalitan. That's why, yung total number of marbles inside the box, inside the bag, is 6. And to simplify this, this is simply 2 over 3. So, aim yung kaiba ng independent at dependent events. Itong independent events, meron tayong dalawang event, pero hindi nila ina-apektuhan yung bawat isa. Yung, yung outcome ng dalawang if ng magkaibang events. Dito naman sa dependent events, meron siyang, oh, without replacement, na-apektuhan nila yung outcome ng susunod na event. So I hope na naintindihan niyo yung illustration natin with regards to dependent and independent events. Now let us answer some activity with regards to independent and dependent events. So we have here the instruction, determine if each event is independent or dependent event. So again, let me remind you, Pag sinabi natin independent event, these are events na hindi nila na-apektuan yung outcome of the other event. And siya yung with replacement. Pagdating naman sa dependent event, ito naman yung events na na-apektuan nila yung outcome ng susunod na event. And siya naman yung event na without replacement. So let's, let's have item number one. Rolling two number cubes. So wala naman tayong condition na... Um, na tatanggalin yung ano yung isang cube or ano man so automatically this one will fall under independent okay independent event for number two selecting playing cards from a deck without replacement so clearly sa ganito without replacement so ang pipili natin yung sagot dito ay dependent Yeah. Shy under ng dependent events. Number three, rolling a number cube and flipping a coin. This one is definitely under independent. Yeah. For number four, selecting two red candies inside the bag. And after we select yung red candies, if you eat them as you select. So, syempre, pag kinain mo naman, hindi mo siya pwedeng iluwa at gawing candy ulit. So definitely, kapag kinain mo yung candy na pili mo, mawawala na siya sa mismong bag. So this one will fall under dependent. Okay. So I hope na nakikita nyo na ngayon yung picture ng pagkakaiba ng independent at dependent events. So again, meron tayong mga videos with regard to probability of simple events and you can see that link sa ating description box. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!